Hey there, my name is D-Pad Gamer, and I love the Legend of Zelda games, though... That's not saying much, is it? Either way, out of all the Zelda games I've played, this is probably my favorite. Here are some cool easter eggs in The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Located near the Forest Haven is the Nintendo Figurine Gallery. When completed, there's plenty of cool figurines to look at, but we're not really interested in that. What we want to do is take a look behind the front desk. Over to the left, behind Mr. Karlov, is four masks. You might recognize these masks from Majora's Mask. The Bunny Hood, All Night, Goron, and Keaton masks. Also, the clay bust in progress on the counter looks like Saria from Ocarina of Time. While inside Hyrule Castle, in the room with the Master Sword, take a look at the walls. You'll see a bunch of stained glass portraits. Left to right, we got the Triforce, Princess Rudo, Old Man Raru, Saria, Ganon, Darunia, Impa, Naburu, and finally the Triforce once again. Those are the Seven Sages plus Ganon. Nice callback. Out of all the videos I've made on Easter eggs to this point, here's the first one outside the game. Cruise over to zelda.com slash windwaker and inspect the page to see the code. Look, it's a Triforce! Let's move on to a few things that you might find helpful while playing the game yourself. If for some strange reason you want to leave jars intact, pick one up and walk into the water with it. The item will actually float out of the jar and then sit on the water surface. Same thing happens if you place the pot in deep water. When up against enemies, pull out your grappling hook and invade their personal space with it. You'll get multiple items from each enemy, so go wild. And this one is really, really helpful. During the final battle, you'll be up against Ganondorf with Zelda helping you out. Use a grappling hook again, this time on Zelda. You'll be able to take her heart. All of them. Seriously, it makes no sense. I just kept grabbing them. It's pretty much infinite health, so there you go. Let's move away from the useful stuff and get to annoying people, my favorite part. On Outset Island, you know the lady that always walks around with a jar on her head? Go ahead and break her jar. This will just ruin her day. Talk to her and she'll actually take 10 rupees from you as punishment. Remember in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask how if you attack chickens you'll be swarmed by them? Well, Wind Waker has something similar. Find a pig and attack it repeatedly until it fights back. Small pigs deal one heart of damage and Link the pig on Outset Island deals three hearts of damage. Dang. Also, side note. One of the pigs on Windfall will uncontrollably release gas while being held. It's so nervous. Moving forward, on Outside Island, head into Orca's house. Without talking to him, randomly just start beating him up. After about six hits, he'll lay down the law. So this one is super involved, but I think it'll be worth it. If you ever really want to annoy Tingle, you'll have to put in the effort. Wind Waker has a thing called the Tingle Tuner, an item which required you to connect a Game Boy Advance to the GameCube. It basically makes it so Tingle is always with you, like always. While he might be annoying, it could be pretty useful. He'll point out nearby enemies, comment on the current situation, and actually sell you extra items at any time. Along with this, there are five golden Tingle statues hidden throughout the game. These can only be seen while using the Tingle Tuner, that's why it's important here. There's one in each major dungeon. If you find one, head over to Tingle Island. Here are where you can find your collected statues. So, after all this, you have it all set up, you get the statues collected, just start attacking one of them. Tingle will begin to have a meltdown, which is just... It's just amazing, but be careful because no one messes with Tingle's treasures. This last one is by far my favorite. Shortly after meeting Medley the Bird Girl, you'll be tasked with throwing her onto a platform. Just don't. Toss her right into the wall. It's, it's pretty funny actually, but I, I almost feel bad. Almost. That's the end of the video, and now we move on to the part where I try to convince you to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, 
please? For real, I hope you enjoyed the video, because that's all that matters to me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.